Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fan 4 Kaiserreich as Bulgaria. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, Romania's in a civil war. Serbia is back in the kingdom of Romania. So that means Iron God Romania is in a beautiful two-front war. Which means that... Which means that the Belgrade Pact cannot form because Serbia is not at peace. Isn't that fantastic for us? Uh, so Hungary's at war with Austria. I'm sure Hungary is going to lose that war, but we'll see what actually happens. And the Spanish Civil War has also begun. Of course, we want to back either... I mean, either the Carlos or the King of Spain. Not, neither of those really matter. Of course, the federal government's going to capitulate because they actually suck. Never once does the federal government actually do very well. Maybe I have to, maybe I have to do a new a United States campaign as the federal government just to try... To win the civil war because it, it seems like the AI has a difficult time doing it. So you are national populist, you're national populist. So they might form like alliance together. I'm not too too sure. Paraguay is also national populist. So yeah, they are in a pretty strong situation right now. Somebody just oh Sweden has joined. Oh, you forced that. Oh. Okay, you were going to go syndicalist, but then you actually just have gone fraternal autocrats. You actually might go national populist, I think. But they've joined the Reich's Pact. Again, leading to a situation where Germany is kind of just in a bad situation. Okay, so they're actually just going to purge the leftist. So they're not going to go for Khrushchev. Which again, means that the Reich's Pact is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Airbase doesn't matter. Two civilian factories would be nice. I think we're going to go for these uh, three uh, military factories. Or the two military factories in our military tree. Yes, keep on fighting each other. I mean, you've only killed... I mean, like 30,000 people so far have died. That's nice for us. And again, it, it allows us just basically to sit back and continuously try to... Um, militarize up. And it's clear war on Panama. So you still need a bunch of artillery. We need a bunch of everything, but... Costa Rica's joining the Entente. The Mozambique Bush War. I mean, you're still at war with... Start the Heinrich reforms. There's a lot of wars going on right now. But look at this. I would love, love, love to attack... Romania right now because I can just go straight to Bucharest. There's like nobody stopping me. But unfortunately that's not allowed to happen. I mean attacking anybody would be nice. Whether it be the Greeks or Serbia. Well I mean not the Greeks. The Greeks are kind of like a last priority. But if you can kill Serbia pretty easily and or pretty early on then that is good for you. I think Austria might actually lose the war. As embarrassing as that is I think they're actually going to lose. At peace as faction leader. So they can't do any of these quite yet. Intervention in Romania. You declare war on Iron Guard, Romania. Okay. Approach Albania. Approach Greece. I mean, if we end up in a situation where... All of us is in the, the Austrian faction, I guess that's not like the worst option but you know it's still not the one i would prefer i would you know i would like to take even more territory from all these guys because i would you know just because i could right you know like taking you know parts of serbia would be nice taking parts of greece would be nice taking parts of romania would be nice especially those um that beautiful beautiful oil fields right there i mean getting the steel would be nice as well greece is actually full of resources so Greece and Romania are my top priorities. Even though I did just say five seconds ago that Greece doesn't matter. I've changed my mind. Serbia is the one that actually doesn't matter too much. Maintain protectionism. No, get the tank research just so we can get the uh, two military factories. I mean, if they're still fighting by January of next year. You know, they're still fighting in six months, which I really think they're going to be. We can just push up Romania. Okay, so Saudi Arabia is formed. They join the Cairo Pact. 
Of course, we don't see any FII to win. Just like we don't want the CSA to win over here. I mean, the American USA looks like they're doing pretty all right. PSA is also doing pretty good. And, okay, Hungary is now actually going to be on the losing end. So, goodbye, Hungary. We hardly knew ye. I mean, it's not too surprising. I mean, you do just have less men. I mean, kind of. It's actually more equal than it might appear. Why do I have six? Did I not have seven divisions on this army? Oh, because one of them went here. Okay. I understand. Okay, so we need to get some rubber. That actually means that what that means is we're actually building some aircraft, which I know is insane. Do I actually have any aircraft right away? Yeah, that question is no. I literally saw it without. Uh, no, I have 75 planes. Where are they? They're right here. Uh, close air support interception over the Balkans. Of course, just normal operations. We got 300 with you, and then we'll have 300 with you. Then it closes spread to Burma. What's happening over in East Asia doesn't really matter to me. Or maybe you want to call it South Asia, depending on where you want to put Burma. It's Southeast. So it's kind of both. It's kind of both. Uh, export focus doesn't matter right now. Let's go for... Electronics? No, I think we just want to attack and defense for all infantry. I mean, artillery going... Organization plus 10% would be nice. Well, recruit population is also good, so... I think a 5% attack, defense, and the recruit population is good. Burma has joined the Eastern Syndicalist Union with the Commune. Not a huge surprise. I think Indochina will probably join that afterwards if they can. Okay, so Argentina has won their war in the south. I'm sure they're going to do pretty, pretty well. Renegotiate with uh, Middle Europa. Oh, God. A million, million things are happening. Ah! Germany, Asia, Indochina has ended hostilities. Indo Chinese Union. Yeah, okay. We already saw that. Italian Republic has joined the Austrian faction. Portugal, Middle. Yeah, so Indochina did win. They can probably join the Inter Syndicalist Union. So I guess, are you just going to be at war with Hungary as well? I guess so. For their tech research, so let's get those two military factories. Thank you very much. Okay, it's August. So, we, again, we have three months. We have four months until we can actually... Uh, I mean, probably attack them, right? Yeah, we got logistics company. Not... Like, that's not, like, that important, I think. Let's go for improved infantry equipment. We're not going to have it ready quite in time for a war, but... I have it ready pretty, pretty close. Then one troop up north. Everybody else is basically where they need to be. Turkey I'm not worried about. Yeah, Hungary needs to lose for anything else to actually continue to happen. And Russia also needs to be doing a better job of everything. I like this. Um... Like, these guys just need infantry equipment. The 480 days for artillery to be good. We're getting, we're getting three a day. Which means it's going to take about 100 days for our actual troops on the ground right now to have enough equipment. You are making two a day, 88. So it's going to take um, 44 days, so about a month and a half. So, you know, we're at least finally getting to where we want to be, I would say. You know, finally. Our main power is low, but that's not actually a huge deal right now. How many men do you have? 11 to 18 division. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 10. So there's at least 10 divisions on this. And again, that's not an entire army, because I'm sure they probably have like some twos up here as well. And probably some guys still on the Romanian border. Or on the Hungarian border, I guess I should say. Okay, so you're done for right now. One land fort. Eh? Like, I mean, two times 100 research for land auction is actually pretty good, so we'll research that one now. 
as well. As far as I know, the, like, the AI can't prepare for this stuff. Unlike when you're doing a focus, that it gives the AI a notice that, hey, they're planning on declaring war on you. With these, but with these events, you just attack them. Like, we can see strays, but that is extremely dangerous. And I would definitely not attack... I want to attack uh, Turkey without being in a faction. If Austria has me through the faction, then I'll think about attacking Turkey. But until that moment... It's a little bit worrying. It's a little bit worrying. Okay, so you join the faction. You're on Empire. Probably not in their, the best straits. You have 5.8 recruited. We can recruit up to 7%. So there's still a decent amount of population that's not actually in the army yet. Okay, so Canada has taken over Panama. Not a huge surprise there. Yeah, federal government, you're just kind of dead. Okay, October. Like, I think by the end of this episode, I think we'll be able to declare the war. If not the end of this episode, then the beginning of next one. We'll be pretty, pretty close. So, logistics. We are looking at... Fighters are going to take 2,300 days. Not wonderful. Go an Eastern Economic Block. Finland has not joined the Rice Pact. But I think they can. So this mobilization. Oh, we just go to war economy. Absolutely. That is a that's a great great choice. Thank you. Thirty five days, be able to get some uh, good bonuses there. Does it give it anything else other than that? No, it just says one hundred political power, and you know the fact that we don't need to be at war for everything to kind of uh, start to boot up in the high gear. But, I mean, an extra resource slot would be nice. Support equipment would be uh, military pensions with reorganized military pensions. Again, that would also be nice. But we do need a military academy. The elections are at the beginning of next year, I guess. Som sometime like that. Um, I mean, there's resource slot here. But again, I don't want to make Germany too mad. At least not right now. I want to keep my options open. My options towards Russia are kind of no thanks. I'm, I'm good. But for everybody else, it's kind of in the air. I don't know who to 100% support. You're going to be ready in about 22 days. I really think that... You know, it would just be like attack one. I mean, it would be like attack, 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 and the Bucharest attack, attack. Push here. Like, that should work out perfectly fine, right? Like, I'm not missing anything obvious, I don't think. And then I'll basically, I'll just annex this entire area, it's fine. You just get a war on the Ottoman Empire. Rod's gonna war on the Ottoman Empire. I mean... Oh, but... Fall of Washington. I mean, there's like other options here, like, I think attacking Romania first is a perfectly acceptable target. But now I'm looking at it being like, the Ottoman Empire is going to be fighting a three-front war, essentially. And we could make it a fourth. I mean, generally the Cairo Pact and the Ottoman Empire are kind of 50-50 even. But if the Cairo Pact wins, I want to get a nice slice of the pie. You know, it takes some territory for myself. There's a lot of options here. And I feel like there's no perfectly clear answer. But on the other hand, if Romania is fighting this war with Serbia, the Belgrade Pact can't form. If I declare war on uh, Romania and win, then Serbia's going to immediately form the, uh, the Belgrade Pact. Like, right off the bat. I can't imagine they're going to do anything else. So, with that in mind... I, I, maybe the invasion of Turkey is better. I mean, it's about even in terms of manpower. 
You know what? Operation Attack Romania has changed to Operation Attack um, Turkey. Because we'll take over most of the major cities before I think they can even get to us. So first things first, of course, is take the capital and then push away across the river. We're going to go for maybe an airbase. I mean, the research slot again would be nice. And I, I don't think any of that stuff matters right now. So let's get the airbase. You know what? This has no effects. Okay, you know what? Then that's fine then. Germany doesn't. If Germany won't hate me, then I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm still worried about this front, of course, but when Romania or when Austria wins the war against Hungary, they have an ability to attack Iron Romania as well, and then could maybe join our faction. It just it's uh. Mishik's clear one on the Ottoman. Yeah, like, I think we had to attack the Ottomans. I think this is the best option for us to do. It'll make the AI put a lot of troops on our border because I think we're one of the bigger countries. I mean, we're not a huge country. I'm just saying we're one of the bigger ones. So in January, my Cairo packed allies. Because you're kind of looking like you're losing, to say the least. I don't want to run the joins anymore. I mean, the, situ again, the situation might change by... I mean, it's a week from now. And they're not doing so hot. I think it's just because we need to create a distraction for them. You know, take like these two provinces, have them try to push over here. You know, but if they capitulate, then I'll feel like a goddamn idiot. I'll feel like a goddamn idiot. Okay, so two more days. I'm just going to declare war on them. I'm not going to lie with the Russian Republic. That's uh, silly. Other, you know what? The liberals remain in power. Do I not get a... Does nothing happen? I have a claim on it. Do I only get a claim? Do I not declare war? Oh. Well, if I don't get a... Causes belly, then... I guess I was wrong. And I have no idea what I'm talking about. So we need to get a strong and stable Bulgaria, which is all the way down here in the bottom. This will allow us to get a... This will allow us to ally with Austria first, but... I mean, this just ties with Russia. This actually isn't an alliance with Russia. That is something different. Get a little, let's get the research slot. Oh, no! We are at war with them. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Quick, march, march, march. Go, go, go. Portugal's joining the Entente. Let's push across the strait. Again, I want these guys fighting forever. Yes, yeah, non-aggression packs with you. I mean, we might just get an event, basically, if we take Constantinople that, uh... I mean, taking Constantinople might actually just create an event anyways, where... But this should kind of screw up with our AI a little bit. We're about to take the city. Non-aggression packs with everybody. I'll agree to whatever you want. Or my other option is instead of attacking Romania, is to actually ally with Romania against Serbia. And I, because I don't think Greece or Romania can actually form the Belgrade Pact. Only Serbia has the ability to do so. 
But with all that said and done, I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.